she's bringing it in here so that we can all because we're we're in Willie's bed tonight or Travis's bed. All right, let her let her lay on it, and then you can lay on this one with the cat. She somehow doesn't like the cat pillow. Okay. Good Lord. This water bed is very weird for us to read in, huh? Yeah. We're going bobbing up and down as we read books tonight. Look at the flag we have up on the ceiling. Yeah. What's this uh, right up above my head? A girl. A girl without any clothes on almost. Yeah. What are Travis and Willie doing in here? She has a swimsuit on. Oh, yeah. Almost. Not quite. What do you think, Cheyenne? Not quite. Not quite. That's right. You hear what Cheyenne ugly. said? It's ugly. Oh, it's not ugly. It's pretty nice looking. <laughs> Is it what ugly? What do I do to bring some things? What happened? I bring my bang. Really? Yeah. And it put in my bang. Oh, it melted. It melted, huh? What did you do today? What's that? That's a thing. Where is it? It's over there. Would you get it? Because it's going to drive us crazy. Just hand it here to Daddy, and Daddy will turn off the ringer. Huh? Beep, 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 beep. What did we do today? Hunter played tennis. Boy, is he getting so he can hit balls good. Bring me the, bring it to me. Thank you, honey. All righty. Oh, there. Now just put it back down there, okay? Hunter can hit tennis balls so good, boy. He torques up and uh, bam. And okay, you can dance. Shy. You can, shy Shy can dance. Oh. You watched the ballerina tape today, didn't you? Well, I don't think I don't know if Shy Shy's in here. We'll find out if she is. This is a story about mouse soup. And the thing is, you fell asleep early the other night, and Daddy read this one to Hunter, and Hunter's concerned about you. He wants to make sure that you get to see, to get to listen to it too. We're also going to have to put the library books on tape, but I don't think tonight. Okay, we'll do it another night. Anyway, see, Hunter wants you to hear the story about Mouse Soup. Look at this little mouse. Is he cute? Yes. Okay. Do 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 do. All right. It says a mouse was sitting under a tree, and he was reading a book. And just then, what says, that's right, Hunter, a weasel. A weasel jumped out. He grabbed him by the tail, and he caught the mouse. And the mouse is going, no, squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> and he, look at the eyes. What kind of eyes are those, Shy? Mad eyes. That weasel caught the nice little mouse who was just sitting there reading a book. And the weasel took the mouse home. <laughs> said the weasel, I'm going to make mouse soup. Oh, said the mouse, I'm going to be mouse soup. And look at the weasel. He's got him by the tail. He's carrying him down the little path, holding him by the tail, taking him to his house. Now the weasel put the mouse in a cooking pot. Wait, said the mouse. This soup will not taste good. It, it doesn't have any stories in it. Mouse soup must be mixed with stories to make it taste really good. How would you do that? Yeah. Huh? Well, now, how would you mix stories in with mouse soup? Do you know, Cheyenne? I mean, they're going to... You know how Mama cooks soup. Mommy made some great chicky soup tonight. Even had... Homemade noodles and everything, didn't it? And I'm the mommy. Yeah, but but how would we mix stories in with mommy's soup? And then make them. Um, just kind of like that? You just go and mix them in? Oh, what do you think, Hunter? Well, I want to see you mix some, some stories in with some soup. Well, he's going to fool this weasel, isn't he? Huh? Okay, he said... The weasel's saying, look at, he's kind of putting his hands up to his mouth, and he's going, what? but, uh, he says, I don't have any stories, said the weasel. Oh, but I do, said the mouse. I can tell them right now. 
And the weasel said, all, all right, but hurry, I'm very hungry. I'm going to eat you up. I'm going to have mouse soup. Well, the little mouse said, here are four stories to put in the soup. How many? One, two, three, four stories to put in the soup. The first story is about bees and the mud. Now, a mouse was taking a walk through the woods. And you know, what are bees? They have little nests that hang in the trees sometimes, don't they? Okay. <clears throat> a nest of bees was attached up here on the tree, and the wind blew, and all of a sudden, it went, just like, bah, just like that, if it fell right on your head, and stuck. Bees, said the mouse. Those are bees. I don't want to do that. But those are bees buzzing around you. I don't want to be. You don't want a bee buzzing around you? No. Okay. Well, anyway. So, it landed right on top of his head. He said, you'll have to fly away, said the mouse. I, I don't want a nest of bees sitting on top of my head. But the bees said, we like your ears. Mmm, we like those ears. Mm -hmm. See, I bet they could fly in that little cute little ear. Just like this one over here on Hunt Shane. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at this one over here, Cheyenne, see that? So we like your ears, and we like your nose. And they, the, the bees like the nose like this. It was such a cute nose. And the bees said, we like your whiskers. Oh, I shaved all your whiskers off this morning, didn't I? You don't have any whiskers. Do you have any whiskers? No, I shaved you too. <clears throat> I said, oh yes, this is a fine place for a nest. We'll never fly away. We're going to live forever on top of your head, little mouse. Now, what would you think, hon? If you were outside in the yard and a nest of bees fell on your head, I'll and here it was, that. well, and they said, we're going to live forever on, on there here, Hunter, because we like your ears, we like your nose, we like your whiskers. And so we're going to just live here on top of your head. And your food are high and break it. You would break it? Yeah. Well, I don't know if that would do at all. <clears throat> I mean, they might sting you if you did. I'll run. Dun, 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 you would run? Yes. I don't know if you could run faster than a bee. Well, I'll run with my blocks, Mr. Gerald. With your what? I blocked you because they're really fast. Don't, don't, don't. I would fly. <laughs> you, you think so? Would you, Cheyenne? Yeah, I'd fly. Would you too? You'd fly like that? Because you sure wouldn't want the bees to, to, to get you. and You wouldn't want them living on your head, would you, like that? No. No, I wouldn't either. I don't, well, I'm going to put the hat back up in my tree. Well, now, that's a good idea, Hunt. That's a very creative good idea. I'm put the hive. Put the hide back up in the tree and tape it up there, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, the mouse has an idea, too. Now, he's very upset because he didn't know what to do. Uh, the buzzing of the bees was very loud, and the mouse walked on, and he came to a muddy swamp, and he thought, mm hmm He said, bees, said the mouse. <clears throat> he said, I have a nest like you, you know. This is my home. If you want to stay in my bed, in my head, on my head. If you want to stay on my head, you will have to come home with me. Mm. Oh, yes, said the bees. Mm. We like your home. We like your ears. Mm. We like your nose. We like your whiskers. <laughs> and we'll be glad to come home with you. Well, very well, said the mouse, and he stepped into the mud, up to his knees. And the mouse said, Here's my front door. Oh, yes, yeah, said the bees. And the mouse stepped into the mud a little bit deeper, all the way up now to his waist, right up to there, see? And he said, here's my living room. Oh, yes, said the bees. Uh-oh, well, now the mouse is going down deeper into the mud, isn't he? And so the mouse stepped into the mud up to his chin. And he said, here's my bedroom, said the mouse. Oh, yes, said the bee. Bzzz. Well, we're just going to live on top of your head in our hive. Bzzz. 
And then the mouse said, And now I will go to sleep, said the mouse, and he ducked his head under the mud. Oh, no, said the bees. We like your front door, and we like your living room, and we like your bedroom, but no, 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 we do not like your bed. And so the bees all went, and they all flew away. Now the mouse came up out of the mud after they went away, didn't he? And he was all yucky, because he's all dirty, wasn't he? From the dirt and the mud. And so the mouse went home to take a bath. And that was the end of the first story that they're going to mix into the mouse soup. Now, here's another story. <clears throat> there were two large stones, just big old rocks, sitting on the side of a hill, and grass and flowers grew there, and the rocks talked to each other, and one of them said, This side of the hill is very nice, said the first stone, but uh, I wonder what's on the other side of the hill, said the other stone. Well, we do not know. We never will, said the second stone. But one day, a bird flew down. See? Out of the sky, flew down the bird. And the rock said, the first rock said, Bird! Hey, bird! Can you tell us what's on the other side of the hill? Asked the stones. Now, the bird flew up into the sky, and he flew high over the hill, and he came back, and he said, well, I can see towns and, and castles, and I can see mountains and valleys. Oh, it's a wonderful sight. Oh, the first stone said, well, all those things are on the other side of the hill. How sad, <laughs> said the other stone. We cannot see them because stones can't walk, can they? Stones just, have, unless, some, unless a person comes along and carries them or does something, they can't do anything. Now, leave it alone. Otherwise, it won't work. Anyway, you know, the stones, they, they can't walk around. They just have to sit there on the mountain. They just stay there and stay there and stay there. And one of them said, Well, all those things on the other side of the hill, how sad, said the stone. And it was raining. <laughs> And we'll never be able to see them, said the other stone. Now the two stones sat on the side of the hill, and they felt very sad for a hundred years. And one day, a mouse walked by. Hey, mouse, called the stone. What's on the other side of the hill? Well, the mouse, look at it. The mouse sits on top of one of the stones, right? Okay, then the mouse climbed up the hill. He put his nose over the top, and he looked down, and he came back, and he said, Well, I can see earth and stones, and, and I can see some grass and flowers. It's, it's real pretty. It's a wonderful sight. And the first stone said, The bird told us a lie. He said, The other side of the hill is just like our side of the hill. Good, said the second stone. We feel happy now. We always will. And there's the sun, and it's going, making him feel good, right? That's the end of the second story now, to be mixed in with the mouse soup. Now, what's the next one about? Crickets. It's about what? Crickets. What's a cricket, Cheyenne? A Is this a cricket? A bug? A bug. A bug is a bug. Okay, now here's the mouse. He's still in this pot of soup, remember. And he's telling the weasel stories, isn't he? So one night, a mouse woke up. And this was a Cheyenne mouse, a little girl mouse. See? There you are. Uh -huh. See? And she heard this chirping. Outside, outside the window. And she said, what's that no noise? What, what's that noise? Said the little Cheyenne mouse. What did you say, said the cricket? I cannot hear you <clears throat> and make my music at the same time, said the cricket. And Cheyenne Mouse said, I want to sleep. I do not want any more music. Oh, well, the cricket didn't quite understand, did he, Hunter? What's the cricket think? <laughs> he thought she wanted more music, doesn't he? 
He said, what did you say? Said the cricket, you want more music? Well, I'll go find a friend. And so soon there were two crickets chirping away. And Cheyenne Mouse says, I want you to stop the music. You are giving me more. And the cricket said, what, you want more music? Well, we'll go find another friend. And Cheyenne is going, oh, no, no, no. I don't, she doesn't want more, do you? What is it you want? You want them to stop, don't you? But they don't get it. These crickets are really dumb. They think you want to hear more. So there's more crickets coming. Soon there were three crickets chirping. And Cheyenne came to the window and she says, Stop! Stop the music. I'm tired. I cannot take much more. And they said, Oh, more? You want more music? Oh, well, we'll have to go find many, many friends. And so soon there were ten crickets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All standing on top of each other, all going... <laughs> They're making music. And so, finally, here's Cheyenne Mouse. She's holding her fingers in her ears. She comes to the window and she says, Stop! Your music is too loud. Loud, says the cricket. Yes, we can chirp louder. So we'll chirp really loud. So now they're going... <laughs> I did it to Hunter a lot. Hunter hides. <laughs> anyway, so the ten crickets chirped very loud. Please, said the mouse, I want to go to sleep. And she said, what, Hunter? Go away! Go away? Said the cricket. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? We're going to go away and chirp somewhere else where they like to hear us. And so off they go. And see them? They're going off down the road. They went away and they chirped somewhere else. And finally, Cheyenne Moose, Cheyenne Mouse, went to sleep. Did you go to sleep? Huh? Don't you like to go to sleep either? Hunter claims he doesn't go to sleep anymore. He just pretends. He doesn't need to sleep, right? Is that true? Anyway, that's the end of the third story. But there's another one. There's another story. This one is called The Thorn Bush. An old lady went to the door of her house, and she was crying, and a policeman came running, and she said, Oh, dear lady, said the policeman, why are you crying? Come in, said the old lady. I'll show you. And so, look. Now they're inside the house, and there's the chair in her living room. And what is it? What's happening? A thorn bush is on it. A what? Thorn bush is on it. A thorn bush is on it, growing right out of it, isn't it? Look, there's a thorn bush growing in my living room chair, said the old lady. Well, how did it get there? asked the policeman. I do not know, said the old lady. One day I sat down and something pinched my bottom and I got up and there was a thorn bush. Oh, you poor lady, said the policeman. I will pull, I will pull the thorn bush out of your chair. Then you can sit down again. No, no, cried the old lady. Don't do that. I do not want to sit down. I've been sitting down all my life. Uh, I love my thorn bush. I'm crying because it's sick. See, said the old lady, all the branches are falling over. What's wrong with it, Hunt? I know, but what, what does it need? Water. It just needs some water. Did you know that, Cheyenne? She needs to put some water on the thorn bush. And so the thorn bush may be thirsty, said the policeman. Well, perhaps it needs water. Oh, I never thought of that, said the old lady, and she poured some water on the chair. She took it a big bucket of water, and she went, and she poured it on the chair. Would you do that to our chair? No. 
No, I hope not. Would you, Hunter? No. No. Willie. No, we'll, we'll spank Willie's butt. Well, he didn't cry. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. Well, now, when the, th- when the water got on the thorn bush, what did it do? It made some <laughs> Yeah, I started to shake. Shivered and it shook, and the green leaves came out in the branches, and little buds came out near the leaves. And all of a sudden, the buds opened up, and bow, 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 shoo! It became a beautiful, large rose bush with big, pretty roses on it. Ah, oh, thank you, kind policeman, said the lady. You've saved my thorn bush. You've made my house beautiful. And she kissed the policeman and gave him a big bunch of roses to take home to his wife. There. There. I told you my stories, and they will make very good mouse soup. They'll make the soup taste good. When I hear the weasel, he's looking with kind of weird, mad eyes, isn't he? He's looking at the mouse. Here's the mouse in the pot. He's got some salt and pepper to put in the pot. Look at there's the mouse's little book, isn't it? And he said, all right, said the weasel, but how can I put the stories into the soup? Oh, that's easy, said the mouse. Run outside and find a nest of bees and some mud and two large stones and ten crickets and a thorn bush. And then you come back and you put them all into the soup. Oh, great, said the weasel. He's kind of dumb, isn't he? Is that dumb? Look at him. He's going to do it. And so the weasel ran outside very fast, and he forgot to close the door. And here's the little mouse. What's the mouse doing? He's going to get out of the pot. That's right. He's getting out of the pot, isn't he? He's going to run away. Now the weasel found a nest of bees, and he got stung many times, because what do the bees do? Because he took the hive. He took the hive, and so they're going, meh! And they're stinging him. They're making big welts on his face. And then the weasel found some mud, and it was all wet and gooey, and he took it in his arms, and the weasel found two large stones, and they were very heavy. And then the weasel found ten crickets, and he had to jump to catch them. The bees are still chasing him. Then the weasel found a thorn bush, and it pricked him and scratched his hands and hurt him very much. Now my mouse soup will taste really good, said the weasel. (laughs) And look at this. He's holding the ten crickets. He's got mud drooping over his shoulders. He's carrying the rocks and the thorn bush and the beehive, and the bees are chasing him. And who's watching all this? The little mousy is just watching every bit of it, isn't he? He's watching what that weasel's doing. and (laughs) And so now... The weasel comes back to his house, and he found to his surprise that nothing was in it. it. The cooking pot was empty. And the little mouse hurried home to his safe little house. He lives in a little house in a tree. See this little door at the bottom of the tree? He goes up the stairs. Goes inside. He lit his fire. He ate his supper. Mm -hmm. He's all cozy in his big chair. And then he finished reading his little book. And that, my hunter Shane and Cheyenne Tara, that is the story of Mouse Soup. Shane, what do you think? I sleep in my room because Shane wants to sleep the other night. Yeah, well, Gloria's here, staying here, isn't she? So Gloria's here. And uh, she's sleeping in your bed. You're letting her sleep in your bed, aren't you? That's and so you're sleeping in yeah. Travis's bed. And she wants to sleep with me. What, do you want to sleep with Hunter? Yeah, I want to sleep with Hunter. Well, maybe you can. I'll see if we can, okay? Oh, she goes to sleep later in this bed. Well, I don't know. But she did the other night in here. Did she? Yes. Well, Okay. Will you quiet down real good and hang in? You will? I want to listen to the tape. You what? I want to listen to the tape. To the tape that we just made? Yeah. It's not quite done. It's, it's recording everything we say. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
What else? Do we want to say anything else before the tape is over? What do we want to say? I love you. I can tell you that. I love you. <laughs> I love you, Hunter Shane. I love you, Cheyenne Terra. Ho, ho. You turn that on. Well, no, right now. We're, we're <laughs> are you a ballerina? I'm a ballerina. Yes, you are a ballerina. Are you going to take ballerina classes? Yeah. You tried to talk Daddy into taking you to those classes today. Yeah. You came out while Daddy's working on his computer and you said, Please, Daddy, I want to go to ballerina class. Take me to ballerina class. Yeah. You want to go right now, don't you? Yeah. Daddy rented you a ballerina tape yesterday, though, and you watched it, didn't you? We now get Cheyenne ballerina tapes as often as we can because she loves ballerinas. Don't know where it came from. I think you're a reincarnated ballerina. Not that Mommy and I have ever talked about it, boy. But Cheyenne really is into it, isn't she, Hunter? Yeah. What does she want? Just ballerina. <laughs> she wants to be a ballerina. You don't quite understand that, do you? Yes, well, my tummy hurts. Why's your, tum- why's your tummy hurt? Because t- cause I can't talk. My tummy hurts. You can't talk because your tummy hurts? Yeah. Why does it hurt? Did you eat too much dinner? No. Nope. You had a lot of kefir, I noticed. Mama went to the store today, and did she get you the kind of kefir you want or what? What did she get? Pineapple. How many pineapple? Four. And one peach. Four? Four pineapples and one peach. And Hunter even brought them out to show me. He was so happy to have four, huh? Oh, your tummy doesn't hurt. It does hurt. It does hurt? Yeah. Oh, no. I wonder why. Why would it hurt? Huh? It was this. Oh, well, I bet it won't hurt for very long. Huh? Well, should we do our countdown on our tape? Hmm? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, four, five six, six, seven, seven eight, two, nine, and ten. ten.